Pampa de Pocho, Anquebrada de la Mermela. A tour among volcanoes and tunnels. The landscape we can enjoy today is the present impression of a remote time. The northwest of the province of Córdoba shows a particular geography which clearly contrasts with other regions of the territory. It is enough to stop and see how perfect triangles resemble natural pyramids or the way palm trees mainly spread out in the land which was once more lively. The province of Córdoba was once a region of volcanoes. There were two groups of them in the province. One group in the Sierras de Pocho, east of Salzacate, and the other in the Sierras de los Cóndores, in the area between El Pungo and the Espeñaderos. Some of the sierras today are non-extinct volcanoes that were active between four and seven million years ago. Among them, we can name the Ciénaga, Orboroa, Poca, Agua en la Cumbre, Sherba Buena, which is the highest, and Vélez. Both volcano systems were active at different times in the geological history of Córdoba. In the Sierras de Pocho, they were formed between 5 and 8 million years ago, a recent period in geological terms. They were large in size and very explosive. In fact, some would have reached 3,000 meters high, even higher than the 2,884 meters above sea level of the Chapaquí. The other system, the one of the Sierra de los Cóndores, was active much earlier, about 120 million years ago. Unlike the ones in Pocho Volcanas, they were not so violent. They were similar to those found in East Africa. Nowadays, they cannot be seen as mountains. What we say today as a volcano are actually domes with the presence of basalts and sediments associated with volcanoes. Knowing that they were formed by the accumulation of lava and that over time the erosion caused the respective triangular geoform. This is why its evidence can still be seen in the relief of western Córdoba. The area is a plain framed by three mountain ranges, the Sierras Grandes, the Sierras de Pocho and the Cordón de Volcanes, which comprise the Camino de los Túneles a road which was excavated in the mountain rock and leads to the province of La Rioja. In addition, the area has a salty lagoon which is believed to have medicinal properties together with carandai tree woods and a 180 meter high waterfall. From Cordoba capital city, it is about 230 kilometers far. Going along the Altas Cumbres Road, along Provincial Road number 34, as far as you get to Mina Clavero, and then heading towards Taninga, going past Cura Brochero and Panaolma. If you go along National Road number 38, it is about 256 kilometers far. Leaving from Villa de Soto, you should then take Provincial Road number 15, going past La Higuera, San Carlos Minas, Salzacate, and finally Taninga. As you progress, different protagonists appear. Going down the first slope in La Higuera, 
You can see elevations with conical shapes in the distance. The path continues through San Carlos Minas. One option is to follow an old sign that indicates the access to the inner area of the mountains. Talaini, Cañada de Salas, Las Palmas. It means a 20 km gravel road in good condition, but it can turn difficult and hard if it rains. The view of the mountains changes as you get closer. Carandai trees and volcanoes increase in number and size. The third option is along Provincial Road number 28, the road to Los Gigantes, about 107 kilometers far. This is a gravel road that, depending on weather conditions, can be difficult to do but it invites everybody to slow down and prepare the camera because it leads to one of the most impressive views in the department. Some rivers, such as the Cachimacho or Salado, flowing down from the Pocho Lagoon, creates a microhabitat for many wild species. The road leaves the Pampa de Pocho behind with its palms, grove and volcanoes. And the sudden decline leads to the old tunnels of Caninga Road. As soon as zigzagging roads appear, the main tourist attraction approaches. It is a link between this region of Córdoba and Chepes in the province of La Rioja which was built in the 1930s and allowed a more fluid connection between these two provinces. It has several panoramic points in which you should stop the vehicle as the views are unique. The road of about 17 kilometers long runs parallel to the deep ravine of La Mermela. You should Drive slowly as there are segments where to pay attention is a must. The area on the right is part of the Tancani Provincial Natural Park and Natural Forest Reserve. Here, three species as white quebrachos, orco quebrachos, breas, carob trees and chañares are preserved. The collard pecari, one of the most in danger, the wild cat, the talking parrot, the boa of the biscacheras, the mountain partridge, and the black woodpecker are among other species. From the beginning to the end of the route of the five tunnels, the landscape is wonderful. There are spaces to stop and to be able to record in images the beauty of the valley with imposing colorful vegetation of ochre, green, and yellow. You will be delighted with the magnificent and slow flight of the condors that in large numbers can be seen flying over the area, almost suspended in the air. No matter what time of the year you decide to visit Los Túneles, as the place has many natural attractions. Each new step through the magic of the territory in the province shows the hundreds of worlds that coexist in this varied natural habitat. Each new step gives everyone the opportunity to learn how life is balanced in the way that each species occupies a unique place, and each animal feeds on the necessary spring of nature. After going past the Chancani Reserve, the relief changes considerably. There are no longer undulations with abundant green tones, nor conical shapes drawn on the horizon. The descending road carried out 
wrapped by beautiful and exuberant natural views of the Mermela Ravine, leads to the perfection of the extensive plains of La Rioja. It is the final surprise of the tour. The Quebrada de la Mermela is part of the Chancani Provincial Park and Natural Forest Reserve. It is unique due to the impressive beauty of its landscapes, its environmental interpretation tours, and the camping possibilities in such a great site. It comprises an extension of about 5,000 hectares which houses one of the most important remaining species of the western Chaco forest. The place has hundreds of waterfalls, dark backwaters, cut up trees, quebrachos, talas, nistoles, aromatic and medicinal herbs, peppermint, penny royal, carqueja, yerbabuena, ferns, and the rare flowers. The fluttering of candles, vultures, souls, and thrushes with their endless dancing, and the stalking of cougars and gray foxes over creases and mountain cats. Tradition tells that the first Spanish conquerors, who were coming down from the Alto Peru, looking for the mouth of the Carcarania River flowing into the Paraná, were surprised by the imposing mountain range, the Sierras de Pocho nowadays. As they baptized the deep gorge La Mermela, the same name of the river that runs through these landscapes. The legend was lost, but the Mermela is still there waiting for everybody who wants to visit the place.